Hello everyone, I am Buck WSR Weezer. We're putting the do into do-it-yourself and our do-it-yourself project is here with this Cub Cadet LTX 1050 V-Twin Hydrostatic. This tractor has been the subject of some other videos of mine. This particular problem today is that it will not move. It won't go forward or reverse. And before we crawl under there and see what's going on, let me show you this. This plastic fan was found sitting on top of the cutting deck. This is the plastic fan that sits on top of the pulley on top of the transaxle. And by taking a look at this, even before we go under and look more closely, it would appear that this fan has snapped off. The belt has apparently jumped off of the pulley down there, wrapped around the fan and snapped it off. So I think at the very minimum, we're looking at the need for a new fan and a new drive belt. And until we get under there and look more closely, that's all, all I can guess. Hopefully that's all it is. Worn out belt. This tractor is from 2012, I think, so about eight years old. And uh, I'm, on, I'm going to drop the deck, first of all, to get it out of the way to make my life easier. And so I can see better under there. And I'm going to take the front end up in the air at least a little bit in a safe fashion just to make it easier to get under there uh, not sure the level of difficulty it will be in accessing the transaxle and the pulley on top can't quite see it through there but hopefully we will be able to manage so let me get set up remove the deck and then I'll show you what we're looking at okay I've removed the deck that's out of the way. I've removed the hood just to make it a little bit easier to operate and to see. I've got the tractor up. I have it supported by both jack stands and I'll leave the floor jack there also for safety. And uh, yeah, I've been peeking around down here and to see if I can show you anything. I have not observed anything other than a worn belt. Pulleys seem fine, and I don't know if you can see in there. Back in there, we can see that indeed the uh, the belt has jumped off of the pulley on top of the transaxle, sitting there on top. Then the fan broke off. The belt is not broken; it's still intact, but it's pretty worn. I don't see any other problems. At least nothing that's standing out to me this is our our clutch or brake mechanism these pulleys are fine uh, this pulley's fine these these idler pulleys are fine so what we want to do is take the belt off and replace it and of course replace the fan we're going to start with the belt and to do that we got to drop the, the electric PTO which is this guy here taking off this bolt. I've got a small impact gun that should take that down. And uh, removing this PTO is the first step. Now, I don't want to drop it until I unplug the wiring harness, which is up here. The wiring harness for the PTO comes through here. So we're going to disconnect, or is it this, it's this guy right here, this wire right here. I may not be able to do this with one hand. And throughout this video, I will probably uh, tell you what I'm going to do, show you it, and then put the camera down because it'll be hard to film while holding the camera. But I'm going to disconnect this wiring harness and then I'm going to drop the PTO. After that, we'll be able to pull the belt out pretty easily I think. So let me do that and then I'll come back with you. We'll see if this little <laughs> impact can bring it down. It's a 5 8 inch bolt. Hey so my little impact gun was not able to break loose that crankshaft bolt take down the PTO. So I want to show you what I did, and I don't. Uh, sometimes you just got to get creative. 
Uh, you may criticize me for this, but it's what I had to do. I undid the bolts that hold down this plastic engine cover. And I used a screwdriver to wedge it up in here against the flywheel into one of the flywheel teeth and then used my breaker bar and the 5 8 inch socket to break loose the bolt. So I think, uh, fortunately, that worked. And then was able to use the impact to take down the bolt the rest of the way. So we're ready to take down this electric PTO. Bolt comes down and this comes off, right? Probably gonna move this bracket and uh, then this will be out of the way. And then up there further, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get that uh, other pulley that that is the drive belt winds around that pulley up there. And if we won't be seized up onto the shaft or anything, I think we'll be okay. Just breaking loose the bolt here was the hardest part. So I'll do that and then we'll be ready to run our new belt. Take out the old one and run the new one. Hey, so down here with a hammer, it's able to get it up under the edge of that pulley and kind of pry it down. So that guy's, that guy's coming loose, which is good wasn't seized on there. So now we can take the belt off of that. This pulley will drop all the way down. It's got a, sh a, a shaft in the, in the keyway in the shaft, so this pulley, you have to line it up just right when you put it back up. All right, so we drop him out of the way, and now we can be free to pull the belt the rest of the way out. And there we go. So there's the, there's the old belt. Now, I don't know if you can see in there, guys, but I wanted to show you how I'm gonna loosen that nut on top of the pulley, on top of the transaxle to install the new fan. Got a small pair of channel locks with which I'm gonna grab the post and then a three quarter inch wrench will allow me to uh, loosen the nut while holding the pulley still with that pair of channel locks and that should that should do it for me to get that off. All right. I wanted to show you the new belt. Right here, part number 75404207. I leave links in the description where you can get these parts if you need them yourself. And the new fan. I'm going to put the belt on first and then the fan. And this you won't be able to see in there, but it... Again, I'll leave links in the description. It's part number 7310698. And I've already taken off the old hardware on top of that pulley. And the way it goes is, slip the fan down on top of the post. Then this washer fits right in there on top of that. And then that tightened down with that uh, fiber lock nut type nut. All right, so let's do this belt, the reverse of taking off the old one. I'm going to start at the, I'm going to start at the, uh, the transaxle end and then work my way up front, ending at the uh, crankshaft off the engine. Again, I need to take two hands to do this, so I'm not going to really be able to show you, but that's what I'll do and then uh, report back to you. Just taking a look at this belt, it really doesn't look, in my opinion, horrible. I don't really know why it came off. It is a little bit worn. Possibly a little stretched, but again, it doesn't look horrible. Uh, but stuff happens, and sometimes you need, just need, these are wear items, and you just need to replace it. Hey, one thing that I should have mentioned is that it's so much easier to work on this belt if you uh, put on the parking brake and, and lock it, set it, because that puts tension on that dry belt, so it's easier to take the old one off, it's easier to put the new one on. And as you can see, that's up there and done, and the new belt is run, everything looks good. Uh, apply the parking brake, release it a couple of times, make sure everything 
it appears to be working as it should and now I'm just going to stick the uh, I'm going to put this fan install that tighten this down and uh, that'll be it we'll be putting it all back together and testing it out all right well we're we've got the new belt installed and new fan and uh, I think we're ready to give it a test drive I thought I would take it for a drive before uh, putting the deck back on because if there's anything not quite right I want to be able to take the deck off all right so let's give this a shot uh, a little hard to do with one hand got the brake on choke key All right, the starter's not engaged. All right, we'll be right back. Once we got it started, ran pretty good and drove forward and reverse like it should. So there we did it. Not just a matter of putting the deck back on and thinking about maybe what we need to do to improve that starter. <laughs> All right, but now we know how to change that drive belt and the fan on top of the transaxle so that was a good project a few challenges along the way but we accomplished them working pretty good and that feels good so thank you for joining me on this project and i look look forward to seeing you on the next video bye